<laughs> I like that guy. <laughs> because a greatest love of all is happening to me. I found the greatest love of all inside of me. The greatest love of all is easy to achieve learning to love yourself it is the greatest love of all I believe the children are our future Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. It'll make it easier. Let the children's laughter. Remind us how we used to be. Okay, that's enough. Y'all, 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 this is a great, great story time. I decided to do the story about the greatest. My, uh, <laughs> my oh to the greatest that ever lived. Uh, Muhammad Ali, a.k.a. Cassius Clay. I want to tell you my great Muhammad Ali story. Okay, as y'all know, as a kid, I was a member of Temple Number no. 3 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, actually, that was one of the very first temples that was built. I think number one is in Detroit, right? Number two is in Chicago. And number three is in Milwaukee, or it's either vice versa. Number one is in Detroit. Number two is in Chicago. Number three is in Milwaukee. Either way it go. An early part of my youth, um, I spent a lot of time in the Nation of Islam where I saw people like Louis X, saw people like uh, Muhammad Ali. Uh, and uh, these, uh, Louis X, I said him already. Henry X is what I meant. These guys, um, Ahmed, Muhammad, all these guys were a part of my youth. Um and of course, I had a falling out with religion, period. And so um, I always contend that religion split my family down in the middle. So I really didn't want anything to do with religion. And for a long time, I was mad at everybody that was associated with church. And I was mad at everybody that was associated with the Nation of Islam. Because uh, once Malcolm got killed, I just didn't... I, I was just a very um, distraught child, okay? But the great part of our lives was always Muhammad Ali, who was a big kid. So this particular story is about when Muhammad Ali, this is after Muhammad Ali beat George Foreman for the third time I mean, uh, I mean, and he became, I think, champion for the third time, right? Yeah, I think he became champion for the third time. Now, while he was in Milwaukee, and of course down at the Temple, um, he decided he also was on the college circuit to do uh, a speech at. University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. So that's where we all went. Everybody goes down to the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Muhammad Ali was retired at that time, actually, because he had beat everybody up. And I guess he was just bored with himself. So 
as he was in Milwaukee, this um, and then he decided to come down to the college and um, you know, talk, give a speech to the Black Student Union. Um, there was one guy that kept to me just he, he kept raising his hand, and it was a Caucasian dude, and he kept raising his hand and he kept asking Muhammad Ali, would he come out of retirement? And why don't he come out of retirement uh, to fight Larry Holmes? And that's what he should. He should come out. Was Larry Holmes? Yeah. No. Or, or it was. Uh, yeah. Larry Holmes. He needed to come out and out of retirement to fight Larry Holmes. And that it was important for his boxing legacy for him to come out. And we, a lot of us from the temple was, you know, was sitting in the back. Because, of course, you know, the, uh, uh, the NOI was uh, placed uh, in the vicinity, always are. But there was a lot of brothers that weren't in the, uh, in the NOI, but they were looking very uncomfortable with the question. They kept looking at that guy like, why don't you shut up and stop asking him this same damn question? Because you already know if you keep on asking him, he's going to change his mind. He's going to come out of retirement. So, of course, this went on for a few more minutes. And I saw, I looked at my brother, too. And he looked at me like he said, this guy is going to come out of retirement. He was like, no, please. No, please, please, please. And I think it was, it, as a matter of fact, it was Larry Holmes. I was going to say Trevor Burbank, but it was, it was Larry Holmes. So as he kept going on, no, I'm retired and I, I, I you know, I'm glad I did something no other. A boxer has done in the heavyweight division and yada, 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 yada. Then all of a sudden, we saw this look in this dude's eyes. And the look in his eyes was like, you know how you can tell when somebody really want to do something and they haven't just, you know, the, all you need to do is just push them over the edge because it's really somebody holding them back from not doing it. And if you egg them on enough, They'll just change their mind. Well, that's the kind of look Muhammad Ali had on his um, face. And uh, next thing you know, it couldn't have been a week later. It was announced that he was going to fight again. Oh, my God. We were so disappointed. We were like, no, no. It was even some brothers like Brother Shabazz and uh, bro oh, bro, Brother Jerry X was like, no, 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 no. Why did we bring him here? Why? Because when he came to Milwaukee, they asked all the wrong questions. And so it was like, why are you falling for this and why would you do it? Well, needless to say, he fought Larry Holmes. And y'all already know what happened. It was so sad. <laughs> it was so bad. Larry Holmes didn't want to do it. We didn't want Larry Holmes to do it. But it was done. And Muhammad Ali got his butt whipped, handed to him on a silver platter. <coughs> it was one of the most hate hurtful days of my life. It was one of the most hurtful days <laughs> to watch my uh, young, uh, youth sports hero get chided into having another fight and being, it seemed like in my mind, being pressured and he couldn't stand up to the pressure. Um, That was crazy. I don't know if some of y'all out there got a Muhammad Ali story because Muhammad Ali is, was everywhere. He touched so many people. And there are so many people who have a personal story uh, with and about Muhammad. So if you do, I would like for you to comment below. But that is my story time today. Muhammad Ali, the greatest fighter who did not know how to stop. He did not know how to put those damn gloves up and just say, I want to chill. And he was such a big ham. Rest in power, brother Muhammad. Rest in power. I'll see y'all in the next video.